Hi everybody, it's Debbie. Welcome, you're at your home, your happy place. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho! <laughs> Isn't this the cutest? Okay, you guys know, I'm working at my daughter's store all week, so this is one of her Christmas things, and it's like, um, gotta have it, just gotta have it. <laughs> so I'll be wearing this for work today in hopes to sell some more of them. And if you uh, want to shop at her store, she is online. It is shopcloetchicboutique.com. If it's your first order, you can use my code DOVIE, D-O-V-I-E, 10, and get 10% off. All right. I didn't want to not give you a video this week or this Wednesday. I don't even know if I'm how I'm going to pull off Friday right now, but I did. I have done a little shopping and I thought, let me just share some of the things that are coming up because I absolutely do not have time this week. This is just was not. And, and you guys, oh my goodness, we were supposed to have company this weekend that got canceled. And, um, I mean, I don't know how I would have, I don't know. I would have, I, I would have, I mean, do you guys ever get yourselves into that situation? I'm, I may be in another one. I'll tell you about it in a minute. But first, let me start with, okay, I'm going to show you a few things that you won't see on anybody else's channel, I don't think. And then I'm going to show you some things that probably you've seen on other channels. But this is a haul in case I didn't say that. And I'm so excited about the first thing. So. Um, in our entryway, we have uh, two framed hymns. If you've seen that in my home uh, tour for fall, you would have seen it because we put those up this summer, I think. And um, I got them at Home Goods. I actually picked up three, and um, the other one is on an easel by the piano. So I wanted to do something fun for Christmas, and I was going to scan a hymn and then take it to Canva and add some, you know, Christmas. Thing and then see if I could take that apart and pop this in, but I don't know. Something happened and it just wasn't working out for me. So good old Amazon. I went for uh, a search and I found um, the these. I've got three. I know it's backwards. Uh, this is Joy to the World, and then at the bottom is a beautiful uh, Christmas scene, and these are just in a a creamy off-colored gray and white. Well, I guess it goes to black. And um, it's canvas. So my one disappointment in this is that I thought, usually when you it says canvas, I thought it was going to be framed on, on wood and stapled down. Um, so then I'm, I was left with, what am I going to do? And I just don't have time for, like, putting it on a board, stretching. I just don't have time for that. So I ordered frames. I ordered black frames like I have right now, and then they have a white mat. So I hope it looks good. But that's one of the reasons my entryway isn't done because I wanted this to be a part of it. It's a big part of it to me. I'm very excited about that. And then, well, there was something else about my entry, but I, yeah, no, I'll go there right now. So this is a little something that you might see somewhere else. So I was, I'm was, i moving from the entry to the dining room for a minute, and then you'll see what happens. So in my dining room, I'm using some gold chargers and um, some pink uh, and green kitchen uh, china, not kitchen, china. And so um, it was really hard to try and find some pink and lime green because that's the colors uh, on the plates uh, to go with the decor in there. So I, I'm just going with the gold as my accent. And so at Michael's, I did find these. Um, basically, it looks like a sprayed cedar and it is glittery. You can't tell. I don't think you can tell. So I was put, I put that down the center and then I was playing with candles and just this and that. And I was just like, I'm, nothing's helped. It just wasn't doing it for me. So last night I was, I had a list at a, a Hobby Lobby. I needed a couple garlands and a couple things. And so, oh, let me back up. At Michael's I also found, and these were on my list, these gorgeous candles. Can you see how beautiful that is? Yeah, I know that'll melt, but, um, and they come in short too. So I've got 
I've got a couple packages. These come in, a, I think a set of two. And so I've got two packages of these and, and uh, one package of the short. And then they come in red and they come in silver. And then they have just white uh, creamy color that doesn't have any glistening on it. But when I got to Hobby Lobby and I'm all over there looking at the garlands and thinking about this and that, here sits this. Well, I hope the camera is picking this up. This is beautifully sprayed. I mean, golly, if I could make it, I know there's people out there that are watching. You guys can do it. They've taken a base and they've got a grapevine down. And then, of course, they've somehow tied together all these and they have sprayed them with sparkle and frost. And it's gorgeous. And so um, imagine the gold. And then I'm going to be popping these on. I think it's going to be so beautiful. For the first time ever, I'm going to do the uh, the china cabinet. Um, I've just been too busy every year. We were still unpacking. So I took some time this year to um, do it for Christmas, just a little. Uh, Christmas plates in there and a little bit of Christmas decor. I was gonna do the top with some garland that would match the garland on the fireplace mantle. At this moment, that's not gonna happen. So here we are. I went garland crazy. So imagine this same room and this garland. It is so gorgeous. They're, these are uh, twigs that have been sprayed and sparkled and berries that are sprayed and sparkled and a few different. I mean, it's just, it's so beautiful and thick and gorgeous. So, uh, yeah, it looks good in there, but now I'm back to the entry. I was getting in my entry the other day and I'm like, I really think that we need some garland around the door when you're, you know, facing the outside because there's not going to be anything there. All the decorations are when you walk in. <sighs> Plus, I could do it the other way too, because I have kind of a, I have these openings. So at the moment, I don't know if I'm going back for more or I'm ditching it in the dining room and moving it to the entryway. Okay. Then the same sort of thing was going on on the front porch. I'm, I'm changing things up a little bit on the front porch from last year. Um, my red bows are staying. I loved that last year and I've tried several other options, you know, holding them up and I'm like, no, 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 I want my red bows. And if you haven't seen it, it's in the playlist, but, um, I wanted some lights. So, um, I found these, uh, at Hobby Lobby and hopefully I can figure out how to get all this stuff lit up out there. I've got them in three different sizes. This is the largest and I only got one set. I think this will be by the bench, most likely. I'm going to put some poinsettias out there and uh, uh, I think some trees. But there's uh, So I put two slim trees that I bought new last year that were lit. Their lights don't work this year. That's how fast this stuff goes bad. I, I, that makes me so mad. I stopped buying lit trees except that one, uh, the big tall one. Um, okay. And then... I stood back outside trying to look and see what could I do, and I really thought, oh, maybe next year I can get a garland. Well, when I saw this one, again, this is uh, very similar to the last one. Uh, it's got magnolia leaves, um, little holly berries, pine cones, bigger holly berries, and then the ornaments in it. There's no, there's no um, branches in this one, and bells. <laughs> Let's not forget the bell. So I want to put that around the door. I only got three, hoping that I'll definitely cover the two double doors and then come down part way. Um, okay, so you're getting a, a little sneak peek at some of uh, my entry room, my front porch, my dining room, and now I'm going to take you into the kitchen. Uh, not not literally, but with my stuff. I found some. Just, I mean, you guys have probably seen these on everybody's channel. These are just really cute towels. And since I'm doing a little bit of gingerbread in that kitchen this year, I wanted to pull that off. And 
something that you're not you may not know about me which I, it's been a while for me actually since I've made these actually over a year but um, I taught myself through YouTube how to um, do um, beautifully decorated sugar cookies and so um, sometimes you buy fondant and put in the silicone things and then you can put these on top of a cookie that's just a circle or a square whatever like that so um, Hobby Lobby had these for so little um, I mean so three dollars so dollar fifty um, you know I pay a lot more I pay like six six to nine dollars for these kind of things usually either at Michael's or um, on Amazon so I'm I'm always going to start looking at Hobby Lobby now for some of my baking things. They also had all the little lovelies. I mean, I have quite a few, but I don't have the gold. And I don't know what I might be making with this, but I can imagine with my gold table and some kind of dessert with this sprinkles on it. Woo. And then cookie cutters. I have a slew. I have old ones from when I was a girl, and then I have new ones from when I started learning how to make really great cookies, but I don't have a nativity set. And I couldn't believe this was $2.50 Hobby Lobby. Again, I pay between seven, and for a whole set like this, it would probably be $19 on Amazon, usually. So I'm excited about those things. And then I picked up, this is one of my all-time favorite uh, recipe book people, I guess you'd call it. It's Gooseberry Patch, if you're not familiar with it. Um, they do collected recipes. So if we open it up, we'll see uh, Merry Making Appetizers, Super Nachos by Vicki Van, well, I, I don't know, and, and from Iowa, and Green Chili Tortilla Pinwheels, etc. And so... That's how this these are made up. I've always had wonderful success when I make this stuff. Um, and I have these dating back to practically, well, probably when they first started, I have a feeling. And these ladies look a lot older now. So that's sad because that means I'm old too. <laughs> and I know that, but, you know, a picture says a lot. So anyway, if you, uh, I will see, I'm sure they have these on Amazon. I'll link, I'll link some below. Um, but if you're ever in an, uh, Cracker Barrel, they always sell gooseberry patch as well. And then here's something, this will be a little surprise. I found these at Hobby Lobby and they are a little, well, there, I don't know. Can you see them better now? Little gingerbread people. And they're stickers. So I have quite a few. <laughs> so I want you to try and guess how I'm going to use these in my kitchen. And it'll be fun then when I finally do. It could be a fail. Just I'm just putting that out there. I am not the best DIYer. And I don't intentionally do DIY. Like I don't have like, ooh, what am I going to do today? This is this is always for me out of necessity. Like if I can't find what I want to buy, uh, and I start all of a sudden. So this brilliant, I thought, <laughs> maybe not, brilliant idea came to me while I was driving the other day. And I'm like, okay, let's try that. So, okay. Is this all I want to show you? Um, I think so. Thank you for joining me today. I hope it was fun. More than anything, I'm hoping that you're getting anticipation built up for what's coming and excited to see the things that I'm going to be doing in the next videos. I don't know what I'm going to bring you on Friday because I have no idea if I'm going to have time to get anything else done. So I may end up doubling up next week. I haven't looked at my schedule yet, but um, I will definitely get a lot of videos done this weekend so that I may bring you more than normal. But you don't have to watch them all right away, okay? You can pace yourself. <laughs> I'll link what I can below. Um, but as I said, most of the stuff at the prices they are right now at Hobby Lobby and Michaels, you're probably not going to get as good a deal on Amazon. But if you don't have 
a Hobby Lobby near you and online, they often say that they don't have all these things, um, then shop what my links are. Um, they're not going to be exactly the same. They'll be similar or an alternative altogether. And I don't know what else, you guys. I just really want to say thank you. Thank you for coming every time I put up a video. Thank you for all my regulars. I can't even believe you guys are so sweet to come every single time. And I almost feel like romper room here if you I know there's people in here that know Romber Room. I want to say, and I see Brenda, and I see Lori, and I see Julie, and you know, you guys know who you are. You come every single time, and I'm so appreciative, and uh, just thanks. I will see you next time at your home, your happy place. Merry Christmas. <laughs>